Hey guys, Nate, the Auto Outdoorsman here. I'm going to touch upon um, a topic today that was brought up to me and I've been thinking about doing a video on it. Um, I'm reaching 100 videos um, within the next few weeks. Um, I think I'm at 95 or 96 right now, so I figured I might as well get the ball rolling with this. Um, I'm going to be doing a Q&A, uh, question and answer on what I plan on doing is on doing it on my 100th video or I'll do it around then. Um, so I announced this on my Facebook page a little while ago. Um, you can either comment below questions you have or post them on my Facebook um, page. Uh, link will be below. Um, you can private message me on both uh, media and um, I'll try and answer them to the best that I can. I want to try and keep the questions. You can ask my opinions on certain topics, um, my uh, some of my experiences. You can ask any like things I've done or like various questions or things about me. Um, I'm going to reserve the right to not do any political or religious things uh, just because I'd rather not talk about anything controversial um, just for the sake of it's not really what my channel is about so I decided in this announcement video of the Q&A I would answer one of the questions that was brought up to me um, and it was what is my uh, on my opinion what is the difference between bushcraft and survival now when this was asked to me, I'd actually already been thinking about making this video for probably a week or two ahead of time. And I told them, I may touch upon it in a different video, but I'll kind of brush up on it in the Q&A, but then I decided, you know what, I'm going to make it the Q&A announcement. So my opinion on bushcraft and survival, within these I'm going to kind of include, uh, I don't want to say subsets, but similar things like bushcraft, woodcraft, campcraft, um, outdoor skills, woodsmanship. I'm going to clump those in with bushcraft and survival. I'm going to clump with urban preparedness and um, any of those other styles of uh, survival. Now, they are both at their core the same in my opinion. At the core the base skills still apply. You need fire. In bushcraft and survival you need fire to sanitize water. You need it to cook your food, you need it for warmth, you need it for that morale boost, um, for protection. Fire is very important. Um, and I will touch upon fire later on. Um, I, I'm, plan I'm eventually planning a video on just all the, or most of the uses of fire. But fire is very important. Food, um, there's a low flying plane flying over, so just, I apologize if you have trouble hearing me. Um, food's very important. Even outside of survival and bushcraft, food's important. We need it to keep our body moving. But Anyways, um, food is very important. Outside of the world, it keeps us going. But in camp, in, in like the bushcrafty styles, they're important and survival are important. And for the same reason. Both those tasks chew up a lot of calories, and having the proper amount of calories is important. Um, being able to have sanitary water is very important. Um, again, it's another resource that I plan on doing another Know Your Resources video on, so I'm not going to go too, too heavily into it, but we all know our body is about 70% water we kind of need it, need it to live and we can't always drink straight out of a stream because we don't know what is in that stream. 
not all streams are infected per se, but it's usually one of those sayings of better safe than sorry. Then we have shelter. Shelter is important. It allows us to be comfortable. Um, and building it, you know, really it depends on how if you brought something with you or if you know how to build something. That can fall into both categories. Um, knowing how to work with your tools, how to maintain your tools. Again, both sides need to know those. Now, there's a lot of these topics within it that are very, very important, but they can tie in with both of them. Now, where they contrast or they're different is the motivation. Pure and simple, it's motivation. Going out to do bushcraft, woodcraft, campcraft, you're doing it either as a way of living in the woods, as with sometimes people do it for a living, like trappers, or you have, or hunters even, or you have the recreational campers that like to do bushcraft and campcraft, you have scouts. It's more of a thing of liking these skills, like working with these skills and enjoying the outdoors and living with the outdoors. That's where I see most of bushcraft and all those things are. Now, then we have the topic of survival and urban preparedness and all those things. The motivations behind those tend to be more get out of it alive, emergency situations, and in cases like that you're often thinking about you're not thinking about how to get out of a situation, you're, or how to prevent a situation, you're trying to figure out how to get out of a situation alive. Um, within those subsets, there are vast differences between them, but so many diff uh, similarities as well. It's truly just how you go about practicing them, how, what your motivation behind them are, really depends on what you are uh, looking for. I personally prefer to think of myself as either an outdoorsman or a bushcrafter because I go out with the motivation of enjoying nature, pure and simple. But at the same time, I dabble in survival. As an outdoorsman and a bushcrafter, I think I should. I believe I should dabble in survival because I spend so much time outdoors, or I plan to spend so many times outdoors. I should be able to know how to get out of a situation or prevent myself from getting into a situation depending on the damage that is done to either my body or knowing, um, knowing how to improvise my kit if I get, uh, get separated from it. But again, these things change per person. Now I hope my rantings kind of make sense with where I'm going with this. Where I believe they're both similar and different. Um, I don't consider myself a survivalist. Um, but I do dabble in survival on this channel. Um, my distillation of water. That was a survival tactic. But I wasn't doing it so I, I did it so I knew how to do it in the future, but I was doing it more as an experimental method. Just like we should always, before we stake our lives on something or instruct others to do something, we should try it ourselves before we even, before we copy and paste it. I'm guilty of it myself. I try to stop myself from saying it, but I usually remark on it as being traditional. Whereas, and generally I only really remark on it after I've done a lot of literature research, um, looking at what tribes have done or what people have done certain tactics. Um, I try and do a multimedia search. I look online, I watch 
documentaries. I try to read books, but I'm not the best reader. But I believe the skills that we try and hold to ourselves, and we always try and sometimes separate each other, we're very similar. Um, we're, we got to be able to pull from each other, and I believe that anyone of any creed, of any style, we can learn something from, no matter who they are, and no matter what they believe. Again, my name is Nate. I'm the Out Art Doorsman. Remember to uh, submit any questions for the q and I'll try and get to them um, during that, and if I have too many, I'll make a second video on it. You have a good day.